the mu function can be very interesting because it's it's very important feature of Alzheimer's disease. Yet at the same time, it's complicated uh, because we probably don't have specific immune markers uh, that are specific for the brain, let alone Alzheimer's disease. Uh, but it should not be a problem if you have a specific diagnosis based on the plasma biomarkers um, and CSF biomarkers, then the inf- immune markers can add information on uh, yeah, the level of immune reactivity. And we think that that's um, probably prognostic uh, f- for Alzheimer's disease. And it's also very relevant uh, to have immune markers if you wanted to want to monitor the effects of drugs on the AD pathology as a whole uh, and also on the immune markers or immune cells uh, specifically. And there are interesting developments now because there are novel screening tools. So um, the, the co-chair, uh, Keenan Walter, he showed very interesting results uh, using the SOMA scan array-based technology. Um, the presenter, uh, Janaika hoka Hin from our group, she showed that there are different patterns across the different uh, disease stages. If you compare TREM1 it's, um, uh, and TREM2, for example, in TREM, for TREM2 in uh, CSF levels, we see early changes peaking at the MCI stage and then later on a bit declining in AD. Uh, in the AD dementia stage, while for TREM1, we observed that there was some later peak. Uh, so in, in this way, you could probably stage the, or, or use the inflammatory biomarkers in different stages of Alzheimer's disease to define the stage, but also um, yeah, depending on the stage that you're targeting with your drug, you can choose for one inflammatory marker or the other.